Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. It's been a while, that's because we haven't had any weather systems to talk about, but it's time for a webcast extra as we have the potential for sleet along with some accumulating snow Wednesday night into Thursday as the temperatures take a major dip. Let me get you caught up on what we can expect and the latest in the forecast. Temperatures right now on this Tuesday afternoon, time of this recording a little bit before 3 o'clock, Beautiful weather, a little bit of a breezy south wind, but temperatures warming into the lower 50s. However, an Arctic cold front is looming just to our northwest, 65 degrees for the current temperature in Goodland, but just north of that, a strong Arctic front is going to be barreling in tomorrow afternoon, and this one is racing. It's already moved through Montana, it's moving into the Dakotas, as well as northeastern sections of Wyoming, and this will make quite a bit of a headway as it moves to the southeast into our area. Now you already see these winter weather advisories that have been issued in association with this system also with some energy moving in. These are eventually going to be extended down to the southeast as this weather system begins to move into the area. Now on the satellite and radar there was already a clipper system that moved through the Dakotas as well as Minnesota and Wisconsin. You can see that area of snow popping up on here on the satellite radar. Those are all the snow reports. This is kind of a foreshadow of things to come as we expect similar conditions with a clipper system diving in in northwest flow. And look at all the jet stream energy already developing along the Pacific Northwest. So we're focused in southeast Canada, southwest Canada, excuse me, and the Pacific Northwest. And as we take a look at what happens with the water vapor, you're already noticing an area of interest. This little dark spot right here is the developing low pressure system. We also have a little bit of a swirl to the northwest of Vancouver. This is a developing low pressure system as well. So the area of interest is focused just to the southwest of Edmonton. This is going to be a developing low. And let me show you as it translates southeastward into that northwest flow, we'll be moving into the southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas, North Central Arkansas area as we move into Wednesday night. Now here's the future track, high resolution computer model data. However, I will say use this and use all of the numerical guidance with a word of caution because here's what we have, Northwest flow and precipitation amounts and what we call QPF is often underestimated in Northwest flow meaning it doesn't generate as much precipitation as what actually occurs. So as we move into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, here it comes. You can see that area of snow developing. That's why they have the winter weather advisories in effect for the Nebraska area. As this storm continues to track down to the southeast, you will notice it does clip northwest Arkansas and especially southwest Missouri. But if you ask me, I think this will extend even a little bit farther down to the southwest, eventually making it all the way into northeast Oklahoma. Oklahoma. We'll see. It all depends on the track of this system. Wednesday night, there's the rain changing over to sleet and snow. We'll give you a more zoomed in view on this. And then by Wednesday late night and into Thursday morning, temperatures getting brutally cold. This system races off pretty quickly. I think this is a, still a little bit too fast. I think we still see the potential for light accumulating snow overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning. But by Thursday afternoon, clouds will clear out as that system races out of here. It's a quick moving system. And we're definitely not getting hit with the entire blow, but it's essentially a glancing blow. So here's the future track. Tomorrow morning, here's what you can expect.
cold enough for that snow and roads could get a little bit slick so I do expect a winter weather advisory to be issued by the National Weather Service out of Tulsa and Springfield and Little Rock especially by tomorrow morning as this system approaches so keep it here with your weather authority and we'll keep you advised.